You probably heard of the magic mask of Da Vinci Resolve. You can mask people, animals, body parts or objects with it in a matter of seconds. But the downside is, it's only available in the studio version of Da Vinci Resolve, which is paid. And I was always looking for a similar tool like the magic mask. Something which I can use for free to mask objects really good. Because it's a pain in the ass to rotoscope everything if you want to just put an effect on it or put something behind it. So I was trying different tools like the masking in CapCut or other tools, but they didn't turn out that well. And most of them are paid. But now I found a solution and I will show you that in a minute. So what I want to do is I have this clip right here. I will link the owner of this clips in the description. And I want to mask out the car to put effects on it or effects behind it. Usually I would go to the color page, just to the window tab and draw a mask around the car. Then I would track it and the tracking will be bad. So I will have to adjust it manually. But now I don't have to do this. I just have to go to the beginning of my clip click I on my keyboard, then go to the end of the clip, go one frame back and click O on the keyboard. But before I will export it, I will actually just zoom in two times, just like that. So I have to make sure that the car is always visible, at least in the middle, because that's where I want to add this effect. And now I will go to the delivery page, give it a name and a location. I will choose the format MP4 and I will go with quality medium. Add to render queue and render. I will only export it on medium quality because if I would do it on high quality, the file will be too big for this tool. And that's also the reason why I zoomed in so I can zoom out later and by that I will have better quality. But I will show you that in a minute. So after it rendered, right click and open file location. Now open a browser. I would suggest Chrome because I tried it with Opera before and it didn't work. And just type in SAM2 AI. Now you will find the link to Meta AI. But you have to make sure you click this link right here. I will also put that into the description. Then you will get to this website right here. Click on try demo, decline, try it now and it will load a few seconds. Now you will get to this little editor right here. But here we have a default video and we want to put our own video right here. To do that click on change video and upload. And here you can see that you can only upload a file maximum 70 MB. So I will select the clip that I just exported and now it will upload. This can take a minute. After it's uploaded, you can see your video right here and you can scroll through the timeline right here. To separate the car from the background, just click on the car and just like that, it will select it automatically. But you can always add points if you want and if you want to remove them again, just click on them again. You can also remove parts. So if it's selected a part you don't want, just make sure you're on remove and just click on the part you want to separate. But I don't want that so I will remove that again. And now I will just click on track object. And just like that it will track it automatically. If I would do that with rotoscoping it would take me hours. Because the tracker of Da Vinci doesn't make a good job by tracking rotation and perspective changing. But this AI does his job perfectly. So I will stop that and now click on next. Here you can add effects if you want but I don't want that so I will click on original on the selected object and on the background I will click on erase three times. Now you should have a green background. Just click on next and here you can download your clip. After downloading go back to DaVinci, into the edit page, open your download folder and just drag it in. Put it on top of your original clip. Now to get rid of this green background just go with the top clip into the fusion page and add a an delta here. Now drag this icon right here from the background color over the green. But make sure you delete all the greens. So zoom in and go nearly to the edge of the car so all the greens are gone. Just like that. 
Now you can add a little bit of pre-blur just to get rid of these hard edges and zoom out. Go back to the edit page and now you can see that the green background is gone. But now we have to make sure to zoom out again because before we exported the clip we zoomed in. To do that go to the bottom clip and change the zoom from 2 to 1 again. Now go to the top clip and change the clip from zoom 1 to 0.5. And just like that we have the original size of the clip again and we will have a good quality looking mask. Now deactivate the bottom clip and I will scroll through the timeline to see where the car is cutted. I will delete this part and trim the clip so we so these parts are gone. Just like that I know where the car is completely visible. And now I can move this one track up, go to the, and put anything I want behind that. For example I can go to effects, generators and just choose a generator like that and if I move that up you can see it goes behind the car. You can also put like explosions behind it if you want to do that or just anything you want. Of course you need to track that explosion so it stays on the same place. But I will show that in another tutorial. But what I want to do is add an effect to this clip. So I will go to the effects library under Carvinci Resolve and I want to add the Carvinci mercury bubble effect. Just drag and drop it onto the clip and now you can already see the effect. And just like that I have the simple effect on a masked car. Now to take this to the next level I will take an adjustment layer, put it on top of both clips, make sure it has the same length as the bottom clip, then go to the effects, Carvinci Resolve and add the ultra speed ramping plugin onto that adjustment clip. And just like that you have a simple speed ramp with an awesome looking effect in the middle and a speed ramp on the end again. Now you can also add motion blur onto the adjustment clip, go to the automatic motion blur, increase the strength and just like that you will get something that looks like this. To get the speed ramping plugin and the motion blur plugin and many other plugins that are completely free, just click the first link in the description and download them right now. Also check out this playlist right here where I created a tutorial for every preset that you will find in my shop. Also make sure to join my server so you can help me with improving my plugins which I'm doing right now with the speed ramping plugin. You can just send screenshots of speed ramps you created with the speed ramping plugin in there and I will add them into the next update. And with that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.